Hi, I'm Tegan Bizuka. I'm 20 years old. I'm from Bristol and I'm a power dressage rider. Well, I guess my earliest memories of growing up probably was when I was around four or five. We've always lived in Bristol. We're a very close big family unit, so all my family went to the same nursery and school. So we all kind of grew up together, which was really fun. I grew up mostly in St Paul's. Um, that's where my godmother lives. She was also my childminder, so I spent a lot of time there. Because it is such a community and everyone knows everyone there. Even though I probably don't know everyone, like I feel like everyone knows me and it's really nice that I can walk down the street and know that there's people that know me and we can talk about like family and stuff. I like all the parks, there's a lot of parks around St Paul's and Eastern and kind of areas. My favourite spot is in St Lazarus, it's like a, I think it's called The Mound and it's just like a really big hill and you can roll down it and stuff. Yeah, I still, I still love going there some days. I was more creative, so I like arts and crafts and like building and decorating things and that was kind of my thing that I enjoyed the most. But yeah, I still took part in like basketball and football and even though I probably couldn't do it and didn't know the rules of how to, how to play any of those games. My first kind of real aim was to be either, I wanted to be a vet or a zoologist or something to do with animals. So I guess it's kind of, I kind of still am on that path a little bit. <laughs> I started writing when I was four years old, so I'm very tiny and small. <laughs> I originally got into horse riding really by chance, I guess. My physiotherapist knew that I wasn't really enjoying typical physiotherapy. So she suggested that I tried horse riding as a form of physical exercise and just therapy. And suggested it to my mum and dad and they signed me up to a, a local riding school in Bristol. And I tried it and since I tried it, I haven't really stopped riding. Um, I think I just fell in love with the animals and the kind of idea of having that partnership and that riding. I started comp competing at the age of eight or nine that's when I kind of started getting more into it. And then when I was a teenager, there were actually a few other girls in my year that also did horse riding, so I wasn't really that weird like horse girl because there was other people doing it with, with me. I think when I first started out, it didn't really click that I could take it a lot further than what I had. It wasn't until maybe London Paralympics and seeing like, people that were in my shoes then, then go and do that for fun themselves. So I thought, okay, maybe I could do that as well. And like, I could, if I keep pushing, I could get there. So it wasn't until my kind of mid-teenage years that I decided that, okay, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I initially started riding at RDA, which is riding for the disabled. And every year they have a national competition. And that's really where you can get scouted to do things. And then over a couple of years, I was being told by possible coaches that if I continue to get scored of a certain league, then I will be next in the selection process. Well, firstly, I'm not going to lie. When I did decide to take this journey, I did think it would be a lot easier than what it is. <laughs> Um, the main struggle, I guess, is the finance side to it. I think Christian Sport is a lot of financial behind it and there's a lot of money that you have to have behind it and if you don't have the money, then it's a lot harder to get where you want to go a lot faster. And it's kind of a two to three year programme where you get selected to partake in some coaching and activities and competitions and you kind of get to follow another athlete on their journey so you get to see what you'll be doing in the future which is really useful. Um, a few people have helped me a lot. I say my parents are obviously number one. For the year they, they drove, me, drove me everywhere so they were a big help as well. Um, now that I'm a bit more independent I kind of have to do a bit more myself. Also, my coaches play a huge part in this. Um, without them, I wouldn't be able to take the horses there by, by myself. Especially my latest coach, she's helped me a lot over the last year. And she's kind of found me a horse that I can ride more regularly, which is really useful. 
I do hope to see more than one Paralympics, maybe a World War or Europe Games as well. In the future, I have a bigger goal where I want to kind of go on the coaching side of, of riding and help other young riders in my shoes to get to where I want to be now. Well, I think the main reason why I don't see me having a career in the sport from a young age is because there was no one out there like me that I could see. Um, now that I'm currently working towards that goal, I do want to kind of create a pathway to let people of all races and colours and whatever can kind of join with, with me and enjoy the sport for what it is rather than kind of the stereotypical view that it gives off. I guess what excites me the most right now is that I am having a lot of fun. Although my sport is a very tough and challenging sport, I am in a place where I am enjoying it a lot more. So it's very important to kind of have that idea of bringing back something to represent Bristol. And I feel like a lot of people from Bristol will be behind me and cheer me on. So it'd be really nice to come back with something to kind of say like, oh, this is ours. Like, this is to represent us, Bristolians. And yeah, it'd be really cool actually. <laughs> yeah.